Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Writes. I tried to film this video so many times now, it's actually unreal, so I'm just going to go for it. So this is the Would You Rather tag, the booktube edition. And like I said, I tried to film this, film this so many times and I keep being like interrupted, like the camera's died, the like sound quality is terrible because it starts like thunderstorming mid-video. So I'm going to try my best and we're going to see how it goes. This tag, I believe, was created by Ray K Book, so I'll put a link to that in the description. And let's begin. Would you rather read only trilogies or standalones? Trilogies. I think I mentioned something like this in the We Love Books tag video. And I believe in trilogies, you have more time to build a world, develop characters, give them like all interesting plot storylines and like character arcs. Whereas in standalones, like especially in contemporary, I feel like they're based around like one specific event or character. And it's all kind of like crushed into one story. So I enjoy trilogies for the sake of development. And also, if I like one book, I like there to be another one. Pretty much the same as it, that I can read straight away. It's like contemporaries, like, I read All the Bright Places and I was like, I want more of this. And because it's a standalone, there is no more of that. Would you rather read only female or male authors? Um, is that a sexist question? I don't really see how the gender affects the book because when I pick up a book I barely ever look at the author I just look at the back and if the cover's nice but if you're doing it like statistically a lot of my favourite authors are female my favourite books are in my female authors so if you're going it just off that I'd say female but there's so many books by men that I love so you can't really decide by that Would you rather shop at Barnes & Noble or Amazon? So the UK equivalent of Barnes & Noble is W. H. Smith's or Waterstone's or just some other bookshop. And although I love shopping in person because I get to pick up the book, smell the book, touch the book, and also see, like, I won this book in a giveaway, it's just come through. And if you pick it up, like, sideways, the book just, like, flops over. And, like, if I find the floppy book in person, I probably won't buy it. So at least if I buy it online, I don't have like the judgement of a floppy book. And also it's cheaper, and I'm poor, and a student, and I can't fund my like aim in life to build a library. Would you rather all books become movies or TV shows? How about neither? I mean, if it's a series, I'd rather a TV show for like development purposes, and you can have like an episode as the chapter, an uh, entire season as a book and stuff like that. But if it's like a contemporary, I've or like a standalone, I've like I've for movies, like the Fight Night Stars was a good movie, Paper Towns. There's like no other book on this shelf that I can think of has been made into a movie. But I think standalones make better movies, and series would make better um, TV shows. Would you rather read five pages a day or five books a week? If I read five pages a day, it would take me like a year to finish one book. And also, sometimes in summer, when I have nothing better to do, I will just read five books in a week anyway. So, five books in a week. Go for it. <laughs> Get through my TBR pile. Would you rather be a professional reviewer or author? Professional author. I've wanted to be an author for like, as long as I can remember. Oop, you're creaking. But yeah, there's nothing I've ever wanted to be more in life than an author, than someone who writes stories. I mean, I enjoy reviewing books now, but I think I'm more that, like, as a hobby. So I prefer like reviewing only things I have strong opinions about and if I had to review every book I read I'd probably start to hate reading, honestly. Would you rather only read your top 20 favourite books over and over or always read new ones that you haven't read before? I would rather read the ones I haven't read before. So if I read my favourite books over and over again they'll stop being my favourites. But if I only read my favourite books I'll never find more books that could be my favourites. At least with reading different books, I never read my favourites. Like my, fa I, some of my favourite books I've only read once anyway. So like, I don't need to read it over and over again. Would you rather be a librarian or a bookseller? I think bookseller, because you know more books, and you get new books coming in like constantly. And also libraries are so quiet and it like stresses me out because I'm scared. I don't like going in my local library just because I walk I walked through in flip flop one flip flops once and it was so loud and everyone was staring at me and I felt judged. Would you rather only read your favourite genres or ex or read every genre except except your favourite? Well, if I don't like a genre right now I don't read it. 
and everything I read is my favourite genre. So of course I'm going to read everything that's my favourite genre. It says genres. I can read like anything I want then, because I love so many things. And then I'll have an excuse to avoid books I don't like. <laughs> Would you rather only read physical books or ebooks? Physical books, because the experience of having and holding a book and you get to like have bookshelves of things to look at. Like I like seeing where my money's gone. If I buy ebooks, it's just like it's on there somewhere. Oh, and apparently that was the last of the questions. Oh. So thank you for watching this video. In the comments below, let me know if you would rather read your top twenty books over and over again, or if you would always rather read new books. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye.